In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the love and mercy of God be with you. Let us pray. Loving Father, you sent us your only begotten Son to bring us the wholeness of life. We humbly pray that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints in heaven, we may continue to rejoice and to receive the life that Jesus has come to offer us that life that brings us to the peace, to the joy of the children of you, God, our Father. And this is a prayer through Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 5, verses 12 to 16. While Jesus was in one of the cities, there came a man full of leprosy. And when he saw Jesus, he fell on his face and begged him, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. And he stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him. And he charged him to tell no one, but go and show yourself to the priest and make an offering for your cleansing, as Moses commanded, for a proof to the people. But so much, the more the report went abroad concerning him, and great multitudes gathered to hear and to be healed of their infirmities. But he withdrew to the wilderness and prayed the gospel of the Lord. My dear good listener, a good Friday to you. From the gospel we have heard, I've chosen the theme, Jesus wills that you are healed. My dear good listener, from my experience in the priestly ministry, I have often met people, especially when they are depressed, stressed, when they are discouraged because of the many problems and the many challenges they meet in life, there is a tendency to believe that God has completely abandoned them. There is a tendency to think that God is a roof. He is so far away and he cannot help them. There is a tendency to believe that God is a partial God who helps some and neglects the others. I'm not sure, my dear good listener, whether you have had such an experience in your life. But the truth is, such moments in our life at times come and we feel abandoned. I want to say that even Jesus on the cross, because of the pain he was going through, at one moment he said, my God, my God, why have you deserted me? That is a human feeling, that whenever we are challenged, whenever we are going through hard situations, there is that tendency to believe, or rather to think, that God has abandoned us. But my dear good listener, from the gospel we have heard, Jesus brings us that God who is near to us. A God who listens to the human heart. A God who does not stand aloof. He is a God who listens to human problems and offers a solution. But one thing man needs is to become like this man we have met in the gospel with the leprosy who approaches Jesus. He fell on his face and begged him, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. So we see that this man is humble enough to ask for God's will to be done. And this is the word expressed in the Our Father prayer. May your will be done. Many times our prayers are full of pride. Many times we want to show people that we know how to pray. But this man, he humbles himself and tells Jesus, if you will. And Jesus told us to pray like that, to pray according to God's will. We find the same well expressed in the diary of St. Faustina, number 1356, where St. Faustina says, Oh my God, I'm ready to accept your will in every detail. Whatever it may be, however you may direct me, I will bless you. Whatever you ask of me, I will do with the help of your grace. Whatever your holy will regarding me might be, I accept it with my whole heart and soul. 
take no account of what my corrupt nature tells me. So already from this text, we understand that we ought to pray according to God's will. Because as St. Faustine expresses, our nature many times is corrupt. And so what happens with our corrupt nature is to will what does not help us. And that's why God gives us what we need, but not what we want. Because what we want is always not right. So he gives us according to needs. Do you need this and that? You can also assess your prayers. At times we pray for things that are imaginable. We pray for things that might not be of any help to us. Maybe there are things that will lead us to pride. And so when we don't receive them, we even get angry with our God. But one thing we know, as we say, our God is good all the time. And all the time, our God is good. And so what he gives to us is good. So that's why when this man with leprosy says, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. Jesus stretched out his hand touched him, saying, I will be clean. Jesus wills that we are healed. Jesus wills that we are clean. Jesus wills that we are in liberty. We are in the freedom of the children of God. But what he wants us is to pray according to God's will. That's why even the gospel text we have heard, at the end of it, it says, but Jesus withdrew to the wilderness and prayed. Why? Because Jesus needed on a daily basis to understand the will of God and so be able to carry out the mission that God had entrusted to him. But this he was able to do because he kept in constant prayer to keep on listening to God's will. God, what should I do? What next? So that's how we should be praying like Jesus. To get some time off our busy schedule, enter into a room, go to a secluded place, and pray. Discern God's will. May we together say, Lord, may your will be done. The Lord be with you. And may the God of love and mercy bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I wish you the blessed day, and I continue to request you, to share this gospel message with your friends. But also, if you have not subscribed, please go to our YouTube channel, subscribe to support this work of evangelization.